Hello everybody, um, this is Micro P11 and this is a continuation of the previous part of this video. I have run into quite a bit of an accident here and my connect, my connection, my internet network actually completely went down and my connectivity as well. So I'm going to go quickly through the uh, steps that I've been previous through just because I want to show something that if I would use the same folder you would not see. So I'm going to paste it here. I'm just going to quickly run through get to the same place. Um, run anyway. And then say to not show, say yes. And we were talking about the main screen of the application. And um, the main the main window part. Let me make sure I have the same setup. So I think we had two ports. It doesn't really matter because we're only using port three anyway uh, for this demo, but just to be thorough. And then we're gonna save the packets, we're gonna save the receive frames. Uh, and I hope I'll remember to show something. There is something very uh, interesting for the so inclined. I'm going to save the logs, the messages. I'm going to log the messages. And let's do this uh, on C, T11, make new folder, say messages. OK. And uh, before I press run to start the um, application, I want to show you the setup, a, a bit of a setup. So. This is the receiver, this is the UDP listener, and we need to send decoded information um, from the um, Inmarsat C, Cytel C decoders. And then on a, on a different uh, PC, um, this is a VM, this is running in a VM, on a different PC I have um, several instances of the SDR Sharp, and then each one of these instances is decoding one single channel so um, they're all right now linked to one particular um, SDR spy server and um, so all these streams or channels from are coming from the same satellite which is AOR West and you see here I have LES 1 2 I have LES 4 I have uh, I do not know which one is this one uh, this is NCS, this is the NCS um, channel, and then there are two more streams here, and I'm pretty sure there are more on this satellite, which I didn't, I don't have yet in this uh, setup. You see some of them are more powerful, some of them have less power, and you see that this PC that runs all these decoders right now, it's used about 63%, so conceivably I could add at least maybe three or four more channels, either from this satellite, or if I run out from this satellite, I can just add another satellite from a different uh, spy server receiver. And one thing that I want you to see is that this UDP address is 192.168.213 is the one that um, it is the IP address of this particular computer where the listener is. So all those um, decoders are sending information over UDP to this listener that it is contained within this UI. So I'm going to run it and then this is what I wanted to show you. This is why I changed the name of the folder from T1 to T11 uh, because otherwise this message will not show up again. Our firewall on the computer it tells us that um, we need to open um, a port for this particular application to let it connect. Um, so do not check this public networks, just use private networks and then say allow access. And now we're running the application and you see already that we started to receive uh, packets and then there, I don't know how many there are in that list, but there are about six. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are receiving right now six, channels from the same satellite. We are receiving the network coordinating station and we're receiving some private channels. Um, 
and the packets that we see here are parts of the frames that we talked in the previous video and um, the the interface pardon me allows us to copy allows us to copy content of these packets and then just look a bit closer if we want to um, so we can um, this button is set for auto scroll and um, this is to copy the content so I'm just click copy and then if I open a maybe a notepad plus plus I can paste I think I opened it on a different computer so I'm just curious maybe there is a bug uh, I do not know how to reach that computer so notepad plus plus control V oh there there they are and then every frame starts with this packet 7d so this is one frame, two packets, one frame, three packets, one frame, four packets, one frame, more than four packets, and so on and so forth. So that is the packet information. And then these are the packets that we're decoding. In terms of the color coding, whatever it's in black, it's fully or for the for our purposes, fully decoded. What it, what it is in blue, it is uh, partially decoded. And then what it is in, I do not know what color is this, teal or orange or something, faded orange, it is not decoded. And then as I mentioned, um, it is not difficult to write a decoder for these packets. Um, some of them were not decoded on purpose. Um, and you can, you can go into the code and then you can have fun and then let me know what you have discovered in those packets. Um, now the next tab is the debug tab and um, every packet gets uh, broken down. Now this this application was not meant to be used by by users. Um, the code, um, the exercise of writing this decoder, um, how should I put this? There's no unit testing at all in in the open source code and the this application was created for debug purposes and then in talking to um i do not know if i mentioned this in the other part and if i did i apologize but in talking in talking to ot which uh, helped with a lot for this application to work um he suggested that maybe we should just use the um the debug interface make a few changes, remove some parts, and make it more user-friendly, and then have this as the user interface. So I'm open to suggestions to create a web interface for this, um, and but that is a different discussion altogether. Going back to the information here on the debug tab, um, we can look into this in a nicer way. So I'm going to uh, clear it. I'm going to let get a few packets here. And then there's a button here called JSON. And then information, for those of you familiar with JSON, it's in JSON. And then we can expand that JSON to make it nicer to the eye. And then let me clear this. And then I'm going to copy a part of it. And let's say, let's get a few more. And uh, so copy this. And then go back to Notepad and then look at them. So you can see that every packet, um, it is broken down into um, whatever the packet contains. And then a bunch of information is, uh, for example, these, this information comes from tables. So it's not contained within the stream, uh, but it is, there is a lot, a lot of documentation in the bibliography attached to um, the open source code project and you can go there and then play and then um, let me know what you find if you find something that you want to share otherwise just have fun uh, if you feel inclined to do so um, and okay so this is the debug uh, pretty much is the same buttons as in the packets um, so we have auto scroll copy clear and we have auto scroll copy clear and the JSON format to see them nicely. Um, and then 
um, we're going into messages. So I'm going into messages and these all these things are private messages. So I'm going to um, see if I can actually move this off the screen a bit um, and then go into the messages and then make sure that I don't select a private message so these that is a private message let me see if there's a public message there's nothing okay that's a good message to show and um, the reason I'm I did this is because I don't want to disclose any private messages on a YouTube video um, this is in between you and um, the way you use your software um, so let's make sure that there's no auto scroll um, as you see although we are receiving a lot of packets a lot of packets and they're coming every eight seconds or so um, we only have we just received a few more but we have very little content here so the information is sparse and then we don't have yet anything coming from the network coordination station this is the one that contains all those weather bulletins and a lot of other information and um, we will see one of those we will hopefully wait or pause this video to wait for one of those to come so i can go explain more about the content of that but um wow the time is running it's already 11 minutes in this video um so going into um this um grid or the message window the message window contains information that um, you will find if you go to read the bibliography um, it's pretty much self-explanatory there is a lot more information that is not displayed by the ui and that the information you can find in documentation or in the database that you are collecting data now with um, in terms of the colors that you see here let's talk about this grid a bit it has two columns it contains two indicators one is a priority indicator and it has to and this is the priority this column here so is distress urgency safety routine and then we don't see anything white this is because the the urgency the priority column only applies to the ncs uh, messages and we don't have any yet these are the egc's messages and then the second column is the encoding and then the encoding color is binary content or um, IA5 alphabet, ITA2 alphabet or ASCII alphabet and then that is what that is for uh, local time, self-explanatory, EGC and LCN. EGC is a number that is a revolving number I think goes for two months and then um, starts going um, from uh, one again and goes up to in tens of thousands I do not know what exactly it's I don't remember it is in the documentation if you're curious to find out and then the LCN is the logical channel number but it is uh, basically a number from 1 to 255 and it is the number that is used to identify a particular message coming from the private um, LES channel um, repetition stands for how many times a message is sent over the line um, for example you can imagine that if somebody is lost at sea you want to repeat that message until that person gets found um, the not parts is indicates how many parts a message has and it is a number that uh, goes from one to I've seen a hundred and something parts of a message and um, I apologize again I have to stop this video because I'm running out of my free recorder and I will add yet another part to this